Welcome to the Red Velvet Cake Studios. Rob Stapleton, he's performing at the Arlington yes. Improv this weekend. Yeah. Hey, man, how's everything in New York? Everything is good, man. I got to, you know, man, we, we finally <laughs> cracked 50 degrees. <laughs> I got. I'm, I'm wearing shorts. The Puerto Ricans are barbecuing. It's about that time. <laughs> Khakis. 58 degrees. People Nothing like calling a, out sick. Nothing like a Puerto Rican barbecue. Nothing huh? like a Puerto Rican barbecue. I didn't know you could put white rice on the grill, man. <laughs> I didn't know you could put adobo on the grill. <laughs> but you know, oh, apparently you can, Tom. They work it out. You, you work it out, man. <laughs> but it, it's, it's good, man. I'm having a good time, man. But I love New York. You got some of the best. You know, they got so many soul food restaurants in New York. How many soul food restaurants? They got so many soul food restaurants. I went to one, and it was a soul food restaurant inside of the soul food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so much soul food. You know, Sylvia's gets all of the press. I yeah. mean, because everybody feel like when you come to New York, you got to go to Sylvia's. Sure. Yeah. But when you go to Sylvia's, there's really no black people. People with Sylvia. <laughs> you walk in there, there's a bunch of Asian people. Hi, we like a chicken. We, we want a sweet potato. <laughs> Everybody think Queen Latifah's in there because she was in the scene from Jungle Fever. So they think she's really a waitress in there. They disappointed. <laughs> And then people walk down the block to the Apollo, and the Apollo's way smaller than what everybody mm -hmm. thinks. Everybody think the Apollo take the whole block. Right. When you realize it's like you and 16 other people in there. <laughs> James Brown's cousin is still in there. <laughs> Jackie Wilson's nephew is parking car. Jackie Wilson. <laughs> but it is smaller, though. You know uh, what I mean? You see people come with smaller. these big expect expectations yeah. Yeah. to be like the ladies are kicking, like, it's showtime. Yeah. <laughs> and they like, let's sit your butt down <laughs> and get ready to boo. You know, they got a little section where they train you to boo. In the Apollo? Yeah, in the green room. They, they, wow. Yeah, it's like wow. they train you. Once you get to a certain level of boo, they let you go upstairs. <laughs> and you can sit down. But it's, you know what the humbling part about the Apollo is? The green rooms. Like when we film, I, uh, me and Tony Rock, we would mm -hmm. film uh, Showtime, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. They changed the name for legal reasons. Yeah. But mm -hmm. they, they have, uh, like, Gladys Knight. And, you know, I got to meet Gladys Knight, which is like, oh, my gosh. And uh, the, uh, Michael Bivens and mm -hmm. Dougie Fresh were the, were the hosts. But it's so humbling because the room is so, so small. small. Mm -hmm. You figure Gladys yeah. Knight would have this big room with flowers right. and she's sitting on somebody's <laughs> lap. Like she's <laughs> <laughs> He's telling the He's truth. Like, you can't do this to Gladys. Yeah, it is, it's very, it's so, so, very so small. I've never seen a dressing room as small as the ones at the Apollo. It man. is. It's not even a. It's just grill. It's not even a grill. It's a grill room. It's small. You figure all of these years, you know, they would sell you, raffles or something yeah, yeah. and knock a wall out. Or something. Do keep it like and that. no elevator. No, no, no. Oh, come on. That, that's big time in now. And the dressing rooms are like on the fourth floor. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, oh and, and, and the steps are like really, yeah, really yeah, narrow. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And, and, and the demographic is crazy because you get a lot of tourists that come there, and then you get the people from the projects across the street. So it's sort of like being at the White House in D.C. where the White House is there, but there's all type of crime going around three blocks away. It's like a whole bunch of stuff is going on. Oh my so that's why right people are booming because they're trying to distract so they can leave. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I, love, I love it. I love Harlem. I love, oh, it. I love it. I love me it. some Harlem. Yeah. I love it. You live in Harlem or you live in uh, Brooklyn? I'm from the Bronx, but I live in Harlem. But Harlem is the place of the hustler. It's the only block you can get fried fish, socks, a mixtape, liquor store, <laughs> funeral arrangements, <laughs> incense, a calendar, <laughs> and a metro car for the train all on one block. <laughs> and lemonade. <laughs> Like Harlem, USA. And whatever that root is, they chewing them out. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I didn't even talk about the rats. I love New York. It's the dirtiest, filthiest, loveliest city loveliest. in the world. All the rats oh. are filling out their taxes today because today's tax day. <laughs> you know, the, the rats got to go to court, too. <laughs> Good news. Tax day has been moved. Yeah, yeah, to Monday. To, to, to Monday. Yeah. And Rob you're going to be here all weekend. I'm here all weekend. All right. At the Arlington Improv. Arlington Improv. New York's own. That's right. Rob Staples. Come out. Get your babysitter together. Let's do it. Let's laugh, baby. <laughs>